So I've clamped these uh, sides up uh, yesterday and I'm unclamping them because I thought that would be make a better video than watching me fight and swear trying to clamp them up all neat. Um, as you can see it's a bit of a mess but you know you just do what you gotta do to uh, get those sides flat. So I'll just take these off. These sides are Pernambuco with a walnut inner and then on the very inside they are veneered with Brazilian rosewood as a decorative veneer. So this is the side that I'm yet to uh, laminate. That's just uh, what most people do, just a single sided thing, but this is sanded down to 60 thou, which is about a mil and a half. Actually, it's exactly a mil and a half. One mil is 40 thou, 40 thousandth of an inch. usually only use one side of the mold but I'll show you why I use two sides of the mold for this particular one. <coughs> so I use these uh, plywood strips with a cork back or just a cork face layer is some foam. I think this is like draw liner from a from an auto parts store or somewhere I can't remember where I got it. Um, then uh, wax paper. Um, so the reason why I did I had to use both sides of the mold for this is because this <coughs> is going to be cutaway and you can see the middle point here um, so the block goes here head block goes here cutaway here uh, in the past I've done I've just laminated this up to the center point and then added this little part as kind of an afterthought but I just remembered this time round so I thought I'll just extend this all the way like an inch further than the center all the way to the uh, the actual cutaway element so full points for remembering um, I might need to is excess veneer just sticking out there so you just break that off So I've got a piece of um, wax paper on the inside as well, but uh, you know you only need a, a small dot of glue or just a, a little smear of glue to make it all stick. So it's actually not stuck. It's just um, 
So I usually have this side, the top facing down, and that's where a lot of the glue comes out. So you just have to wipe away with a damp cloth. Done. Baritone and so normally I'd be not doing this the way I'm doing it, but um, some Brazilian rosewood on the inside, uh, walnut uh, just here in the middle, and uh, Pernambuco on the outside. Now the um, the outside has been radiused. According to this side template. And that's a good start. Um, so you just block it up. I usually block it up and then uh, just shave all this down to the outside. And uh, that's going to be beautiful once I clean all this up. It looks pretty ugly now, but um, really much stiffer than just the single side. I mean, I'm, this is a 60 thou. Normally a, a side, um, like a single side, would be bent at about 80 to 90 thou. But uh, yeah, these are really, really nice. Um, if you get any, so sometimes the veneer splits a little bit and you get some glue run out or squeeze out or squeeze through, you just, um, you know, you just scrape that back and it's makes for a perfect finish. doesn't matter. Um, I've got a little bit more on the back here, but this is going to be cut back and then it's going to have a block over the, over this area. So it just doesn't matter. Um, the part that does matter is, you know, from this part to about here. So you want that looking absolutely perfect. Um, depends how high quality a instrument you're going for. Um, you know, of course the original Martins and other guitar manufacturers, they, they just left the saw marks on the inside of their sides on the insides um, from the bandsaw or the uh, you know the huge uh, saw that they use so that is going to be this video I'll show you it. the next part will be probably me scraping this clean um, and blocking it up actually the next one might be showing how I laminate the side and also making a call for this little cutaway area because this cutaway is going to have uh, the same walnut this is just the the walnut inner and then this is the Brazilian rosewood inner that. Pernambuco, Walnut, Brazilian. And the same with this. Interesting stuff. Thanks for watching. So I clamped up the bent and clamped up the cutaway section. And for something different I used tight bond red cap for it.
type bond three uh, just because it has a little more open time but because this is a small piece and easy to clamp uh, red cap spine so Pernambuco, then the middle layer of walnut, and then the inner layer of Brazilian, and they, you know, just get, each layer just gets bigger. Uh, and I will, so the, the outer layer is um, cut to the exact length, so I will just cut that there and there. Super stiff. So this is the uh, cutaway side, which I also use type bond red cap on. Um, between laminating the uh, treble side, sorry, the uh, base side and the treble side, this being the treble side, And by treble side, I mean when you're looking at the instrument from the front, this is the cutaway side, which is the treble springs. It's not, not really a correct term saying the treble side, but you know what I mean. So I made this side, or well, sorry, waste call. Uh, which just makes clamping that area specifically much easier and faster. So, having done that, I used tight bond red cap on this side. Is the uh, the foam very thin foam, pretty hard. bits of wax paper again. So I'm interested to see if there really is any uh, stiffness difference in this compared to the side that I did with Type Bond 3. Type bond three is supposed to dry a bit harder. Sorry, type bond red cap supposedly dries a little harder. But let's see. They're about the same. If I can't obviously feel a difference, then they're close enough to not worry about any of that. Um, I also did a just a simple test. I put some red cap and some type on three, just so you know what I'm talking about. Green is type on three, red cap. The type on three is about twice the price of red cap. Um, if you can see that but I can still stick that and it, uh, it is a little bit rubbery it is much harder to do it with the red cap hmm interesting but uh, this is still hard. This is good enough for laminating sides for sure. Um, I wouldn't use type on 3 for anything like gluing on braces or anything but um, yeah, it's pretty good. 
Yeah, so... Here... I will be gluing... Putting a head block on this. And that's that area. I'll just trim that back to this line. Trim this back to the Pernambuco. And then that will go in there. Can't really do it. Kind of like that. And that is going to look smashing. Uh, for the... Um, just for this off cut, just hack away at it until it's down to the Pernambuco, the outer. And uh, that would be a little bit easier to block up. continue showing you that that's just obvious what I'm gonna do uh, I will show you the next part before I block it up is to scrape the inside so it's nice so I've uh, laminated all this I'm gonna block it up but first I have to clean up the this inside area. You really only have to actually clean up this area where the block is going to go, but I, you know, while you have it in this position, you might as well do it all. So I just scrape the inside. Not too hard because, well, depending on what system you use, I use a decorative veneer on the inside. So this is only 20 thou or half a mil thick. Brazilian. I still have my packing piece on the mold, so the mold is still full depth or more than full depth. easy to use curved scraper for just spot scraping some glue off there's a little small crack in the veneer here so the glue squeezed out so there's just a bit of a blob of glue So this part you want to get as nice as possible because it's very, um, 
when you look through the sound hole, you see this area in its entirety. So just want to get it looking good. a little more awkward than usual because um, if you remember from the first video the this side I extended out past the center line which I normally don't do normally I just add a second part and I could chop that off and um, do it another way but it doesn't matter because uh, you know either way you do it you're going to be chopping through this for the mortise and tenon, so but let's try new ways. And that will do for that. Um, so normally around the block area, I just give it a little bit of a... 80 grit sandpaper just to give it a little more the glue a bit more to hold on to um, so now we'll block it up <laughs> 